Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. And welcome to the last episode of Fallout 3. We've been on a hell of a journey. It's almost, yeah, it's, it's been about a year. It's taken us a year to do this, it's similar to uh, New Vegas. Um... It's been on, we have been on quite some adventure. We've had some good times. We've had some, we've had some frustrating times. We've had some bad times. But overall, I would say we've had a very good time altogether. In the last episode, we destroyed the Enclave mobile base crawler. And that thing will always remind me of the sand crawler. Um, in uh, Star Wars. Um, <clears throat> when we destroyed that, and I know I went really quiet there. I usually talk and stuff, but I went really quiet. I pretty much ended the episode kind of quietly. Um, the reason for that is Fallout 3 is actually is my favorite Fallout out of all of them. Um, I played a bit of one... I play a bit of two. I have the uh, mini new collection, so I have all of them. Um, but even out of all of them, uh, three is my favorite one, and um, I guess the really the realization that the series is coming to an end um, kind of like bam, slam me in the face, so to speak. Um, so, you know, I was a little, little, a uh, little emotional there, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and, uh, I know if I said anything, it wouldn't come out right, or, and I didn't know really what to say at that point, uh, so that's why I very quietly went to, back to our house, put on our vault suit, and, uh, you know, I saved it. And we talked there. Um... I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling really good today. Um, this is the actual last episode, the, um, but it's more so just uh, so we can meet somebody um, who's going to be in, in a uh, DLC in Fallout 4, um, who we will eventually see. Who knows when? Um, but uh, I want to get uh, you guys to know her. Um, so that when we get to Fallout 4 and we get to that DLC and we do see this person, it's not like, well, I don't remember that person. Um, you know, I like to try to get you guys to meet people who we're going to see in the future. Um, like, uh, Sierra here, who we're going to meet. Um, if you guys remember, I talked about collecting Nuka-Cola and the Quantums and we need them for later. Uh, well, that later is now. Um, <clears throat> so, hopefully you enjoy this episode. Because it's, it's a little bit silly, a little bit funny, and a little bit cool at the same time. Um, so grab your drinks. Grab your snacks. And let's get into this. Okay, so, um, what do we want to wear today? How may I serve you, master? I really want to. Well, you know what? Poo on you two. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so how much money do we actually have? Because, uh, let's see here. How much money do I actually have? Over a thousand caps. So I can sell a lot of things here. So, what I might do is I might buy all the other upgrades so you can see what we would have had. Because um, well, we do have a lot of stuff that we don't really need. Because we've got a lot of extras and stuff, right? Atomizers. We don't even need these anymore. Uh, these. Uh, this. Oh, 
Oh, I got more gambling. Oh. I guess we can fix that. We'll fix that, I guess. All right. Well, because we can get more money out of things, right? <coughs> uh, regular one, yeah. Um. Okay, so what else do we got in here? Uh, <coughs> we got lots of magnums here. Doesn't really matter because I'm just doing this <coughs> just so we can get a bit of extra money here. Um. Okay, there we go. Oh, apparently I'm over encumbered. Oh, by a lot, I guess. Okay, let's drop something off here. Um. Okay, so we don't, we don't want to sell these, so. Or that. Where is the this and this? Okay. So we will grab our money now. Okay. Get out. Really, dog meat. Move out of the way. They're always in the way. Oh, it's nighttime. The dog meet in Fallout 4 is pretty cool too. To the dog meet in Fallout 4 that uh, you got relatively uh, early into the game, actually. Um, he's really nice. Um, a lot of the companions and characters, instead of just standing around like in this game, uh, they tend to, especially because you, like I said before, you can do settlements and stuff. So, like, once you uh, have a settlement, um, They'll just chill out, walk around your settlement, and, uh, oh, I thought there was a red dot. Uh, they'll just walk around your settlement, and all the same with dog meat. You'll just chill out, walk around, you can get them a dog house, oh, they'll hey. sit in the dog house and all that. Um, pretty cool stuff. Alright, um, you can go, and you can go. Good hunting! Alright, specialty Don't items. Uh, let's see here, what do you have for sale? Um, I think it would be in miscellaneous. All right, let's see here. So we've got a bunch of different uh, things here, like a workbench, Nuka-Cola house, uh, laboratory. Okay, so let's sell some more stuff here that we don't need. Um, jukebox and infirmary. And I think that's all we can sell. So there should be... Uh, oh, teddy bear. We're going to buy that. I didn't even know. Um, okay, where are the themes? Good hunting. I like to buy things for my house. Talk about themes. Um, <clears throat> there's different ones. Love Machine. Um, basically puts a... Um, you know what we'll do? We'll do this. Just so you guys can see all the different ones, I'll get save it here. Okay, so we got to save hey, here. So let's take a look at different smoke. ones, and then after they're all done, I'll tell you my favorite one. Uh, especially items. Um, where is themes? You sell any special items? Oh, buy some stuff. Okay, here we go. Themes. Um, let's do a vault theme. What? Okay. So now we have to go find it. I don't remember how much it is. I think it's in miscellaneous. Um, vault theme. All oh, right. Good hunting. So we just gotta go quickly back to our house here.
Okay, so this is the vault theme. Okay, hold on. I guess I'll have to move Mr. Bear. Um, so this is the vault theme. As you can see, there's lots of stuff here. Got some chairs. Um, I don't know why there'd be chairs here and why they wouldn't put them against a wall or something, but who knows. Uh, there's stuff down here. I don't remember if there's anything upstairs. Um, oh, there is stuff upstairs. Um, okay, so this is the jukebox that I bought. <clears throat> Can't put it on, unfortunately. Uh, here is a uh, my first infirmary, which would have been pretty useful, of course. Uh, we got vault tech here. Here is a laboratory. You can detoxify yourself. Uh, you can create a new compound. Now that takes about a day to do. Uh, Nuka Cola vending machine. Um, get some Nuka Cola. Let's just grab that. So, uh, as you can see, we got all the different stuff in here as well. Um, all right, so let's move on to the uh, next one. I got my up. Huh. Raider theme. So this one's pretty uh, extreme, to say the least. Uh, this one I remember. I've never ever used it. Like I've, uh, I've checked it out. I've bought it to see what it looks Good like. Hunting. Um, but I never actually used this as a home theme. It's pretty, pretty crazy. This, this is so that's one thing so that's one giveaway so far I never used the Raider theme but I mean that's probably a given you guys know me so um, yeah it's pretty pretty uh, insane this is the Raider theme looks like he's <laughs> oh my god it looks like he's like trying to get out like he's asking for help that's actually pretty hilarious this makes it this seem even worse so we got bodies all over the place and um people hanging raider stuff like usual come up here pretty crazy stuff i guess he gave up he's not trying to get out no more <laughs> all right let's go to the next one don't try anything Hey, don't mind this. Oh, or the top one. All right, so the next one is Wasteland Explorer really? theme. Well, th good hunting. Okay. Sounds like they're doing some yard work or something outside the building here. So if we can hear the buzzing, I do apologize. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. So this is the uh, Wasteland Explorer one. Um, so Mr. Bear is still sitting there. He's finally good. We got baseball bat. Looks like we got ourselves a little uh, picnic here. Um... Nothing really crazy. You know, we got some weapons on the shelf and all this. I uh, don't think anything's different. Oh, I knocked something down. I don't think anything's really... No, nothing's really different up here. Okay, so not much difference. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Don't try anything. Hey, don't mind... Themes. All right. All right, science. I think this is the science. All right, Good the hunting. science theme. <clears throat> the science theme is pretty cool. Okay, so here we are now in the science theme. Um, it's kind of similar to the vault one. He's getting squished. Let's just grab him. Uh, it's kind of similar to the vault one, in my opinion. Um, we got some computers here, more computers. Uh, we got a chalkboard over here. Um, again, I don't think, yeah, to the chalkboard here. Oh, looks like we got some computer stuff up here too. Um, another computer here. Check in here. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, science-y stuff. Look at that. Okay. This one's pretty interesting. Uh, let's go to the next one. Don't try anything. You're going to repeat yourself every single time. Huh. Okay. Uh, so we did science. Now we need to do huh. pre-war. Good hunting. Okay, it's pre-war theme. Uh, the pre-war theme is pretty good. I like this one as well. Actually, I think I pretty much like all of them except for the Raider one. The Raider one's a little crazy for me. Even when I played as a bad guy. You know, a bit, well, actually, when I played as a bad guy, I blew up Megaton, so... But still. Um, so this is the pre-war theme. Looks quite nice. We got a carpet. A tricycle. We got some chairs over here. We got Mr. Bear and all that. Um, got a computer looking thing over here. We come up the stairs here. Um, we got some table, a chair and all that. Um, come in here. Nice sitting room in here as well. This is a pretty nice one as well. All right. So now on to the last one. I got my eye up. Hey, don't mind the smoke. Whoops. Feeling a bit anxious, are we? Remember. Okay. So, uh, alright. Let's go and find it. Love machine. Here we go. Good hunting. Alright. This one's pretty interesting, too. Uh, you can probably see where this is going. <laughs> By the name of it, Love Machine. Um... Okay, so let's go up here now, and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, so we have, you know, a tree uh, with lights on it. We've got a computer over here. Uh, you know, we've got a bed in the shape of a heart, some pillows. Um, you can actually sleep on it, which is nice. Um, if we come up here, what's in here? There's nothing in here. This is boring. Um, got some another plant with bed and all that, you know. Uh, I've got some string lights up here. And we have two people, you know, having some fun up here. Um, th that's a light, you know. Uh, so we have a light fixture that looks like, you know, fun time. Um... Alright, so let's reload this here, and I'll give you guys a few seconds to take a wild hey, guess which one this. my favorite theme is out of all of them. Of course! Some people don't like live. Purchase a theme from me, and I use all of my design abilities to set your place up in the manner you request. You can choose from the vault... Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science, Love Machine, or Pre-War Themes. Okay, which one do you guys think is the one that I like most? Well, I said that the vault theme was pretty cool. Uh, it kind of reminds you of home. The Raider theme, I said, a bit too much for me. A bit too much for me. The Explorer theme was not too bad. Uh, the Science theme was also pretty good because... Well, that kind of remind me of uh, the vault one. Um, the pre-war theme was very nice. Um, it looked very nice and, and fancy. And the love machine one, well, you know, who doesn't like that kind of stuff? <laughs> um, but if you guys guessed... Do, 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 do... Pre-war uh -huh. theme... Then Remember. you would be correct. I actually, this is actually my favorite theme, uh, home theme. Whoops. Um, in the whole game. Good hunting. I don't mind the other ones. The other ones are really cool, but I really like the, um, the pre-war theme. It's one that I use <coughs> on all my playthroughs. I did actually. It's kind of funny because my very first playthrough of this game. 
on uh, Xbox 360. It's the very first time I played it was on 360. Um, and then I started playing it on the PS3. Um, hell, I still play it on the PS3 to this day. <coughs> I don't play it on 360 because I don't own the 360. Uh, it was actually my exes who had the 360. Um, but the first time I played it was on the 360. And the theme that, <laughs> that, w that we used um, was actually the Love Machine one. Um, and then after that, um, you know, I played on PS3 for many, many years. Uh, like I said, I even play on PS3 now. I prefer my fallouts on console. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, what's wrong with you? And, oh, you know, this should be on PC because of mods and all that stuff. I'd be honest, I don't care about mods. I'm going to be completely straight up honest. I don't care about mods. Um... You know, I just don't. Um, I uh, <coughs> do. My favorite way to play Fallout 3 is on the PS3. So we have a lot of Quantums here and Nuka Coley's. Let's just grab them all. Oh, apparently, how the heck am I over encumbered? Oh. Uh, let's just have all the stuff, I guess. But yes, as I said, uh, Fallout 3. Um, <coughs> oh, whoops. My favorite way to play Fallout 3 is on the PS3. Same with New Vegas as well. Um, so, looks like we have 37, 38, or sorry, 28 uh, teddy bears. We have 20, <coughs> 28 teddy bears because the big one downstairs. I think we did pretty good. I think we did really good. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, whoops. Wait, where'd the other ones go? Uh. Um. Okay. That's not very cool. I'm going to reload that. I patiently await your word. Uh, okay. Okay, so we had 27. I have no idea what just happened to all my teddy bears. They just magically disappeared, I guess. I guess they figured, well, you know, it's the last episode. So we're all free. Run away. Um, we had uh, 27, so 28, 29, 30, 31. And we have 32 because there's one downstairs. So 32 bears is what we collected in this playthrough. Okay. Um... What we're going to do now is we are uh, going to do, 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 let's go to here and there. And we're over encumbered again, so we have to let's do this. And I guess we can grab all of our, our what do you call it? Um, I guess we already did. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go to Gerda Shade. Um, oh wait, we gotta bring our friends with us. I had hope. Okay, now we can go with us. So. Girder Shade is actually the place where we needed all those uh, Nuka Colas. Now it's all the way here at the end of the map, pretty much. Um, oh wait, no, we wanted to check out the Dunwich Building. Maybe, you know, no, 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 no. So we're gonna do this first, and what we're actually gonna do 
is I don't, I don't want to keep prolonging the series um but we'll do because uh, there is actually two things that I do want to do still actually um Dunwich building which is connected to a um quest a side quest in point lookout which I don't think Riley Ranger Professor Desmond Cathedral that's all the pit stuff yeah so we didn't do that um, so that's fine um, so, like I said, there are a few other things, like, looking, looking back, there are a few things that I wanted to do still, um, I should have done it earlier in the episode, but, I mean, it is what it is, um, <clears throat> okay, so I guess this isn't the last episode, um, we're gonna have, let's see, so this is 49 today, so we're gonna have, uh, do, 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 where is 50 and maybe 51, I don't know, because there's one, there's a weapon that's really cool, um, and it's kind of a story behind it, but it's just a unique weapon, it's pretty much you get to go to a place and collect it, I don't know if it's really worth a whole video or not, um, it's a Chinese pistol that actually fires incendiary rounds, so when you shoot people, it puts people on fire. It's pretty cool. Um, even though the Chinese pistol is actually the weakest handgun in the whole game, and even that special one doesn't really boost... Yeah. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. What the heck? Well, that's something to uh, load into, that's for sure. Jesus. Well then. Um, as I was saying. Uh, what the hell? Oh, another robo. Oh, that explains it. I forgot. Yeah, there's a uh, convoy up here. Like a. Not a convoy. An outpost, kind of. Who the hell are you? Scavenger. Oh, it's Scavenger. Okay, so it's not really important. Um, but I guess we're here. Might as well collect stuff. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I don't know if that weapon is really worth a whole episode on its own. Because, uh, I want to know what's over here. Um, let's not get inside. Try to stop. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, the weapon is a Chinese pistol, like I said, um, and when you fire it, it puts people on fire. But even then, even then, um, it's not the strongest weapon, and it only boosts the pistol maybe a little bit. It's still not amazing, so to speak. Um, like a lot of the, like everything we pretty much have now, like dwarfs it in terms of power. What do we even have? We don't even. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're running around in their vault suit. I forgot to change arms. That's okay though. I'm here at your back. There's a few places we haven't found here. I knew we weren't going to find every place in this series. Kind of like the same thing in Vegas. We didn't find every single place because that would take way too long. Just like in Fallout 4, there's going to be a lot of places. Um, um, I know I talk about this in the Fallout 4 series because I've already recorded a, you know, a few episodes for Fallout 4 uh, beforehand. Um, because you can build and upgrade and all that and all the... Um, the junk, so to speak, is actually, um, you use it 
for breaking stuff. You break the junk down and you have to use it for scrapping and stuff. Um, so there's a lot of times when I go out and scavenge in Fallout 4 before I do an episode or after I do an episode because there's just so much stuff and the materials cost a lot too to make stuff and all that. So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. <coughs> unlike in this, unlike in like 3 in Vegas where you just, um, you know, <coughs> you find something and that's it. And I go, oh, I'll go with by your perks. Um, whereas in this one, I go, in 4, it goes by your perks and by upgrading your weapons and your armor and all this and stuff. And there's a lot more to do. Anyways, <coughs> so this is Girder Shade. Um, this is Sierra's house right here. Sierra Petro, uh, Petro Vida right here. Um, and you got this, <coughs> this weirdo over here. Ronald Laren's home. He's a weirdo. You'll see why. Um, so let's go talk to Sierra. So as you can see, she has lots of Nuka, lots of Nuka Cola stuff here. She's a um, she's addicted and uh, addicted and collects Nuka Cola. You see, pristine machine, all this Nuka Cola, uh, all that stuff. That? And uh, let's talk to her. See what she has to say. Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola collection? Wow. I have one of the, no, the best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck, I've won the Nuka Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. There's a Nuka Cola fan club? Yep. I'm the president, the recording secretary, and the treasurer. Once a year, we gather here in Girder Shade to have a cook off using Nuka Cola and the recipe. <clears throat> Last year, I went with my poached roach and Nuka sauce. Delicious. Wait a minute. How many members are in your club? Well, only two right now me and Ronald. But membership is open to the public. You can join if you like. Hell yeah. Oh, you can't join. Who's Ronald? Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. Tell me more about this Ronald guy. He's a darling. Always watching out for me, and more importantly, keeping the collection safe. Like once, there were these raiders that came by. There were three of them, and their leader was named, like, Lugnut or something. Um, Sierra. So they, like, kicked in Ronald's door, and he was like, blam, with his gun, and one of them got all splattered. Then the other one tried to, like, hit him all in his head with some club. And Ronald was so cool how he dodged it and shot the guy in the face. <laughs> then the Lugnut guy was in Ronald's face with the... I'll kick your ass stuff and Ronald was like hell no and he punched the Here please I got it he's tough. Oh <clears throat> Sorry, I get carried away sometimes Well, you should definitely talk to Ronald. I bet he'd like to meet you. He's such a sweetheart He sounds great. So you mentioned a tour or something. I sure <coughs> did want to take it now How can you resist this stuff is so cool? Yes, of course. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. The Nuka Cola Challenge. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these.
By 2067, a Nuka-Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka-Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. <clears throat> Quantum? Never heard of it before. Well... Right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum. It was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste! So, uh, what went wrong? Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Wait, did you have an isotope in it? As in it's radioactive? Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your... Um... Your pea glow. <laughs> What's your interest in all this? I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more. <laughs> get over the attic routine. Tell me what you want already. Can you resist the taste that'll blow up in your face? Like Ronald always says. <laughs> he thinks of the best Nuka-Cola jingles. Anyway, for every bottle you bring me, I'll pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 and all, I got a super secret cool prize for you. On, uh, speech on... Come on, Sierra, no secrets between friends. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade. The only one in the whole capital wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, <laughs> what do you say? Will you bring me the what bottles? The hell? Okay, Sierra, you got a deal. Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Okay. So, it's kind of good to take this quest earlier on um, in the game because it takes a long time. Because Nuka-Cola Quantum is actually quite rare um, in the Wasteland. Um, as you can, as you do, we only we have 30 with us right now, but it's taken us a year's long worth of time and episodes to even get 30 bottles. Um, and here we are in the last episode, and we have we just have enough. We have 30, and that's what she wants. She wants 30, and uh, now you can see how long it takes to get them. Um, so that's why it's good to take it on early. Or collect the bottles throughout your playthroughs and come here near the end, like we did here. Uh, is there anything else interesting to see near Gerdershade? Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Okay, so that's the place that we're not going to go to, <clears throat> as I talked about earlier in the uh, series. Um... Okay, so I think if we go outside, it prompts Ronald to talk to us. Hey, pal, yeah, here what we go. What are you doing in Sierra's place? Checking out Sierra's new Coca-Cola collection. That better be all you were checking out. I don't like guys messing with my woman. 
she never said anything about you two being together. Well, that's likely because it's none of anyone's business but ours. She's one hot lady, though, am I right? <clears throat> I don't have time for this nonsense. All right, suit yourself. I was going to make you an offer that could earn you some caps, but if you don't have the time to listen... Unless you want to hear what I have... Oh, really? That sounds interesting. Go on. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, that she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. Yeah, sure, I'm always looking for more caps. Thought you might. Good. I'll see you soon, then. Bringing me some quantum, I hope. Uh, let's see here. There's something else for them. Is there anything... Oh, what do you know about the quantum? That stuff is some of the nastiest shit I've ever had. Imagine drinking a Nuka-Cola, then downing a fistful of sugar and punching yourself in the head. That pretty much sums it up. Sierra shared one with me a long time ago. After I drank it, my piss glowed for a week. <laughs> is there anything else interesting near here? Uh, near here? My friend, you are at the ass end of the Capital Wasteland. If it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich building to the south. That place is bad, Mojo. I don't know what that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. <clears throat> I have to go now. Just remember, only one that's going to lay a finger on her is me. Got it? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know how to the dialogue where you can get him to basically say, talking about, oh, I'm going to uh, plow her bean field and stuff. So basically all he wants is he just wants to basically sleep with her. That's the only thing he cares about. Um, so anyway. I am so thirsty. I hope you have... Please, tell me you have... Um, did you know Alfred, or Ronald, has offered me to buy, buy Quantum from me? He has? Oh, that sweetheart! I knew he'd help me! All that guy does is watch out for me all the time. No, I think he just wants to, you know. That's so silly. Why would a man want to wear a pair of these filthy woman's pants? <laughs> oh my Doesn't God. make sense. I bet you and him cooked up that line just to make me smile. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. Oof. Um. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> All that. Okay. Um. I have the last of the quantum. You've done it! My machine is finally full! Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned it! If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. And that completes the Nuka Cola Challenge. Now, I don't know what else she says. Yay! You're back! Um, has Ronald been bothering you? Oh no, he's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. Oof. All right, let's go talk to him. Be like, hey, we uh, sold them to her. Oh, I thought there was a red dot nearby. Oh, there is a blind North scorpion. What? Okay. Okay, alright, let's take out this uh, scorpion here. Oh, there's an enclave outpost out there, it looks like, too. Um, alright, let's just. Oh, geez, that's a long way down. <clears throat> Are there even anybody here? Sentry bot. No, oh, just sentry bot. Though I guess we don't really have much to deal with here. Mm. 
Bye bye. All gone. Ugly evolve for their. Oh, that's weird that they're all gone. Well, I'll take the ammo. Well, I wonder what happened here. Table pushed <coughs> over, blood everywhere. Oh, it's Health Boy. The Death Claws got out. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like there's no power armor guys anywhere. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, we're not going to go there. Um, Vault 87. Yeah, we can't do that. Okay. Um, so, in the next episode, what we're going to do um, is we are actually going to somehow start the quest for the Dunwich building. And I know it's it has to do with um, Point Lookout. Uh, I think it's Obadiah Blackhall. So I think we talked to him and he says, hey, can you get the book? Or something? Because there's a book you need to get. Um, but we're going to do that. We'll do that next episode. Um, I know this was supposed to be the last episode. And, and I know it seems like I'm dragging this out. Um, but if we don't, even if we don't do, um, that one I said about the, the handgun, the Chinese pistol, it's not super important. Um, I do want to do, like I said, um, the Dunwich one, because that's actually very cool. It actually had some pretty interesting things to it. Uh, and I think something, I think that's something that I would like to show on the channel. Um... So yeah, uh, we're going to do that. So let's save this up here. Okay, so um, that's Sierra. Um, she is in Fallout 4. Um, now that we've met her and we've talked to her a bit, I can bring it up. There in Fallout 4, um, there is a Nuka-Cola DLC. Uh, Nuka-Cola... The company actually made a theme park um, in Fallout 4 there is a DLC called Nuka World and you can go there um, so you go to Nuka World and she is actually in Nuka World she's traveled all the way from Capital Wasteland she found out about this place um, Nuka World and she traveled all the way to uh, Nuka World uh, her story is quite interesting Obviously, I'm not going to spoil it or get into her story on uh, that uh, add-on and story and stuff yet. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, like I said, we're going to do at least, at least one more episode. So there is going to be one after this. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if we're going to do the other one because it's just a unique weapon. Uh, you read a terminal and it's basically like, hey, we made this Chinese pistol fire incendiary bullets or whatever. I can't remember how it's worded. It's not super duper important. Like, it's neat, but it's not the coolest thing. Because, um, again, the Chinese pistol is the weakest handgun in Fallout 3. Um, even with your uh, weapons at 100%, or, I mean, your weapon skill, your small gun, sorry, your small gun skill at 100%, um, you know, still like that, and even that unique version, you don't know that the fire damage, still very, very weak, and I, I wouldn't even bother with it, to be honest. Uh, but that being said, um, yeah, I will see you in another episode of Fallout 3, and, uh, yeah, and I know I keep saying this, but I think tomorrow's episode, or not tomorrow, sorry, the next episode is actually going to be the last one. Because the last one is going to be the Dunwich. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother with the, with the, f uh, incendiary pistol. It's kind of just blah. No, no good. Um, yeah. <coughs> so we're going to do that one. I don't know how long that one's going to be because it's a lot of traveling and stuff. Um, but yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you, if you did, um, uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell my, <coughs> tell all your friends about me, and I'll see you uh, in the next episode of Fallout 3.